Man, I just love the intro of Shockwave. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. John Megacycle here. An episode of Command & Conquer General Shockwave coming at you. Shockwave is a mod you can find on ModDB. Go ahead and install General's uh, Zero Hour, and then you can install Shockwave right on top of it. Uh, Mods DB, I guess just a bit of a plug for them, real quick, uh, has a ton of mods out there. There's the Contra mod, the Shockwave mod that we're playing here, the Retarded mod. There's a bunch of stuff out there. It's it's amazing. It's I mean you could you can play this game over and over and over and over again with different mods, and it'll feel like a completely different game. Well, I mean still RTS, but whatever. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started with the challenge. This one comes from Christian Freedom YT. Um, any man, any commander will do lowest amount of cash. There we are. Um, let's see here. I must play as the tank general against a normal GLA. So Chinese tank general for show. Uh, normal GLA, lowest amount of cash. There's really nothing else here that says anything. Super weapons are allowed. Lowest amount to start. Um, the tank general has done better for itself in Shockwave. And I mean by that, the developers really gave the Tank General a much better leg up. Um, the real problem with playing Tank General in normal General Zero Hour is China's late game moneymaker are hackers. They're infantry, they deploy, they, they kind of sit down and they have a hacker, or a, a laptop with a little radar dishy thingy, I guess, and they hack the internet and you get money. Um, infantry are insanely vulnerable, and also as a tank general, they're far more expensive. So um, there's been a couple of changes for China that makes it a lot more viable to have hackers. Um, the hack vans is one good example, um, and yeah, it just the tank general definitely got a lot more even to the other generals as opposed to just being, uh, oh god, I don't know what I'm going to do if I get tank general. I'm going to rush in the first two minutes, and if I don't win that rush i'm just gonna quit <laughs> i'm kidding but you get the idea right um so i'll just take this spot tank general gla uh let's do it i want to rush economy as quickly as i can okay what i want to do immediately is this a barracks um there's a ton of capturables on the map if i can be quick enough i can take all of it um let's just go ahead and sell that we're good the idea, realistically, is to get... I wonder if I should do two barrackses. Red guards take a while to train. I wonder if that'd be a good enough time save. Maybe not. So we have what? Some there. Some there. Okay, I see four potential spots that I really care about. Uh, should be able to do it. I should at least be able to capture two of the four, right? Maybe the two on the sides, maybe the two in the middle. Depending on how the enemy is playing out, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens here. Okay, and I need that immediately. Yep, you two go in the middle. ASAP. asap or rooney Okay, and I am researching capture. Hey, you, over here. But my mouse isn't really calibrated for this, I see. Um, I've got 300 in my name. I'm going to leave the barracks there. Give them something to fight if they show up at my base. If, if GLA is really rushing with $5,000. You guys uh, pop him. Let's try the bayonet. Okay, he's running. Screw it. Cool. And sell. I got all I wanted out of it. I'm waiting for 2,000 for my War Factory. A for War Factory. That makes sense. Capture and capture. You're not close at all. You're kind of close. We have big plans. We have big plans. Defenders of peace. We will claim it for China. We are the Red Guard. I'm thinking I'll get at least two. Awesome. Okay, how do I want to rush? Dragon? T no. Actually, I would like my battle masters upgraded. Let's work with something like that. Um, 
I don't want to be super adventurous right now. I'm going to chuck us a power plant. Maybe a turret here. Like, just pick a side, start defending. Okay, cool. Everyone's... You get him. That'd be awesome. Come on over here. We're going to cap up some more stuff. Do it for China. Take it. Now, I think I'm way past the point where an early rush is possible. So I'm not going to charge him with these battle masters. What I would like to do is wait till I have maybe a dozen units and then push in. Um, GLA has some kind of an air force, I believe. It's been a while since I played uh, Shockwave. So I know they've got like a duster, like a, a crop duster. Oh wow, they moved in on the quickish. Um, I need you guys over here, please. Um, they have some kind of like a crop duster majig, and they've got some sort of a balloon, like a hot air balloon, filled with farts or something. I, I don't really know, so that's why the Gatling tanks, I think, are important. Holy crap, they just went technical crazy. Uh, after this, I'm going to get a command center. I'm playing this pretty defensively because I don't know what to expect. I, just straight up honesty. Could I be faster? Sure could. Do I want to be? Surely do not. Okay, just keep moving. Those things should be just one pop. I got pretty veteranized battle masters on the field. Um, let's have you guys in the center. I kind of want to defend up those oils as much as I can. I've already lost one. Um, I'm not too sure if in Shockwave they fix the AI blatantly cheating problem. I'm actually not sure. Um, I've explained it, explained it a lot of times how much the AI just straight up cheats in regular General Zero Hour. So I don't know if that's been modified or changed or anything here. Um, GLA has sneak attack nonsense. Let's get something back here as well. Hi, I need another power plant there. Keep moving, keep moving. I don't want them to have money. Okay, and I don't see anyone building anything here. If I'm not going to move out and claim it, I'm at least stopping them from claiming. And that's kind of the key there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep, okay, I lost that. And, yep, balloons. Okay, cute. Super cute. Wow, GLA just has so much garbage. Huh. Okay. Uh, this could be a problem. I'm going to be short on economy pretty darn soon here. <laughs> kind of already getting the feeling of being surrounded, aren't I? Yeah, they really did. Oh, and they're going to shoot the one that's not as important. That's funny. At least in their minds. They're shooting the one that I feel is more important. Um, anyway, with the money I've got, how much do I have in reserve? 13,000 should be enough. I should be able to get my propaganda center up and online, internet center up and online. I should be able to get self sufficiency without too much difficulty. That's what I think I'll do. We'll do a little bit of build up, a little bit of experimentation. We'll see where we're at. Um, just one more battle master will be fine. You guys go there, you guys go there. Sending some stuff. I got a ramjet and some other funds over here. Why don't you guys just plunk right there? Okay. Bit of a nice spread. I'm pretty happy with how this is panning out. How much power do I have? More than enough. Not bad. Can you come here and patch this boy up? Excellent. Now with that, I need a barracks. Let's see here. 
plus 100% effectiveness from propaganda. That's pretty impressive. I thought it was only 50% in vanilla. Gosh, blow it up already. <laughs> and let's get our internet center. Cool. Now I've got an economy for the long game. Or soon will, anyway. Uh, one of the things that could have been very, very, very dangerous is if I didn't pay attention to what was going on and they blow up all the oils, I run out of money here, and it's like, well, how am I making money now? You know, that that could be huge. China doesn't have the cash bounty capability as GLA does. There's just a lot of, um, a lot of bad crap that could happen. Get in there, please. Um, I don't want another barracks... Um, I wouldn't mind, like, a nuke. Like, get get some special weapons and stuff going on. Up here, please. Okay, let's take some forces, and let's go north, and let's clear out some of the expansions that they most likely have. Oh, what I can get are some hack vans. Let's just start building that up. That's right, instead of another barracks to produce more hackers, I could actually just produce hack vans. Which are pretty much like mobile internet centers, which are pretty sweet. Any damage here? We good here? Let's get another one of these boys here. I'm just concentrate full econ, full economy for the next minute or two. Another hack van. Shut that down. So I don't like how fast the Gatling tanks are. They seem to be constantly getting ahead of everyone else. Yeah, and now I lose the Gatling tanks. And then, but they'll move in with his one balloon thing and ruin my party. See, that's a problem. Okay, I'm just going to stash you in the back, buddy. It is expensive equipment. Um, let's see here. Heavy on the artillery barrage. Well, I don't have any units, so might as well do. Oh, what the heck? What the heck is that? Little little supply bikes. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. Screw up some progress. Another two hack vans. Scan. Get another defensive structure or two on the up. And up. Okay, I could use an army. That'd be cool. How about we stop doing that for a minute and let's get some overlords. Oh my gosh, Overlords take forevers. Okay, so right now, don't know if you heard it, we've exhausted our supply. I'm now not making any more money from that depot. So this is actually really, really good. I got that set up when I did. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Two hackers, get in there. Done deal. Okay, time to get the heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. Oh, that all looked like one unit. It was traveling in such a clean pack. That was actually a little scary. And I do want that propaganda upgrade if I did not get it. I don't believe I got it. Oh, that's going to really help the overlords. Oh, I wouldn't mind some listening outposts. A bu I want a bunch of stuff. I really do. I'm a greedy, greedy boy. Um, come on back. There's no point in overextending like that. Uh, because the real danger is Jarmankel. 
I could get Jar 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 Mint, and then I could lose a bunch of stuff. So Hack Van, let's work on economy a little bit more. I want to feel very comfortable in my money flow. It's good now, and since the hackers are infantry units, just like any other unit, as they get more hacks, I guess you could call it, um, they'll become better at hacking. They'll just become more and more proficient, they'll hack more cash every time. Yep, just heard a snipe. Over here, please. Awesome. That's rank 4, rank 5. Carpet bomb, EMP, mines. Uh, mines. Oh, that's going to be a common theme, buddy -o. And the ramjets are powerful enough, they actually kind of shut down bomb trucks. That's excellent. Unit lost. This is, the is there no one in it? There is, but just really not much. Okay, let's start cranking out more tanks. The heavier, the better. Um, what do we have in terms of upgrades? There's an armor upgrade, the speaker tower upgrade. Um, I actually don't have the, what's it called, industrial plant. I don't see nuclear facilities. I don't really see any WMDs going on. Uh, let's just shut down their economy a bit more. Slow them down a bit. Uh, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Sorry if you're hearing random cat noises. I don't know what is what is up with uh, Nico. Uh, one of my cats. He's just meowing over nothing and everything today. Okay, what do we have for upgrades here? 25% uh, Emperor Armor. I love it. Autoloader. Okay. Maybe that would have worked out better if I went autoloader and then... Or tanks and then autoloader for my rush. Doggone it. Ramjets are powerful turrets. I'm just going to keep saying that. It works. They work. The only thing that I really missed that got removed off of the tank general noticing is the bunker upgrade. Uh, just give one of you a Gatling. I don't care who. Uh, more propaganda. All the propaganda. All of it. Allows Black Lotus to do a thing. Nah. And that has to go away. Where? Oh, he's dead? Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's get to work. I don't want that there anymore, and I can easily take it out. Um, spread out just a little bit, boys. That's better, thank you. Warning. A scud storm has been detected. Hmm, that dealt some pretty solid damage. 
guys want to get this thing at all, or... Okay, I want you two coming over there. I want you two over here. <laughs> you guys are not spreading out at all, and that bothers me a lot. There we go. Now, when they spread out, the benefit of that is they're all approaching the opponent at the exact same time, or at least as close as possible. The other benefit is they're not running over each other because of their range. They're actually giving each other plenty of room to squeezel around and get the job done. At least that's the tentative plan. That demo truck's gotta go. That demo truck's gotta go. Awesome. Yep, I should be able to do some pretty, pretty splendid damage here. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on a ton of cash. If you can take that out, I'll consider this mission accomplished. The AI in Shockwave is also significantly more resilient, for sure. Um, in normal Zero Hour, when you take out the enemy's command center, they take forever to rebuild it. Like, an embarrassing amount of time, and most of the time, they actually just don't rebuild it. That's pretty much what happens. In this one, the AI, like I said, does a better job of managing that. Which is, it's good. That's really good. Okay, can you guys start working on some of these structures? That'd be great. Come on, over here. Work on that. Yep, keep working it over. Every bit of damage we can do is good. And my nuclear missile's ready, which means I can research all the other naughty nuclear tech. Cool. And draw flying, and let's keep it that way. Holy crap, with the balloons! Okay, I'm gonna lose out because of that palace there. Back off, back off. Now hit it. I thought it was EMP'd, and I thought that was going to be enough. I guess not. Whatever. Gun up. Get out here. Cool. I want 25% more damage, 25% more speed. Uh, what the heck? Let's get this upgrade while we're at it. Propaganda tower, speakers, EMP bombs upgrade, a neutron bomb, nationalism bonus. I want, I want all the things. China has some pretty delicious upgrades. With this version for sure. Oh, get the bomb truck. <laughs> oh man, those allied reinforcements better hurry the F up. And that's why I brought Gatling tanks. We're going to steer clear from that palace. Um, I could do some good work without having to touch it. Uh, another speaker tower there. I'm missing a dozer. Unit lost. Unit lost. What? Wow. Lots of dem traps. Which is also really cool. The AI in general, Zero Hour, doesn't usually use demo traps. So that's actually really, really cool. Nope, shut it down. Yeah, renders renders bomb trucks pretty useless. Actually, can you just paralyze that structure? Is, does that work? Maybe it takes a little bit. That looks pretty damn disabled to me. 
There we go. Excellent sauce. Okay. Let's get some dozers. Dozer, dozer over here to me. I want to start expansion. Always play the game as if you're losing. That's rule number one in my book. Even if you think you've got the victory cinched or clinched or whatever you want to call it, don't get lazy. That's always that's always how I feel. Don't get lazy because I've lost battles. And, you know, I'm not a great player or whatever, but I've lost battles where I'm like, yep, gonna call this one a done deal. Old J Megs pulled out all the stops on this one, heh <laughs> heh. And then I, you know, you mess with your opponent for a bit, and then a sneak attack happens, and then you lose, and it's like. I have no one to be mad at but myself. I should have kept the front. I should have kept the push. I should have kept whatever. And I didn't. I cheesed out halfway and I was like, well, I guess I don't gotta play this game anymore. And then that's that's exactly what happens. Okay. Let's go this way. So they probably got some minor little bases around here. With my main fleet. Fleet? Yes, fleet. Why not? I'm going to go east. Stop. Okay, so you can chain react those. Neat. Just keep going. Come on. What are you guys doing? The pathing isn't worse, it's just weird. I've got the win. I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to lose a few vehicles along the way, but yeah, I got it. Yep, I just wanted room to grow. Straight up the truth. Shut this boy down. What I probably could have done is I could have sweeped both these sides, slowed down their advance by shutting them down a bit more. But in all honesty, I just really wanted to get movement on the main base. Uh, I'm not going to get to see my nuke, am I? Yes, I am. Back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back up the whole pain train. <laughs> Just start building this up like it's a base. Whatever. Come on, just chuck her there. There we go. Excellent sauce. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take care of this oil derrick that's up here. It has been a long time since I've used supers in a challenge, but it is allowed. Let's double check. Super weapons allowed. Checked. Okay. Let's bask in the mighty glow. Ho 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 Holy wow. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So yeah, I don't know. I always like to see different reincarnations of these generals throughout these mods. I've played Contra, Shockwave, Retarded, and I, I have like two others on the tip of my tongue I just can't think of. But it's always cool to see either the same commanders reborn or new content added. And it's just it's just so refreshing. Like, like I said before, whenever I play General Zero Hour... Um, I would never, ever, ever take Tank General, take Tank, hang on, take the Tank General willingly. It's a real shoot in the in the face. Like, if you can't advance immediately, get the job done, you're screwed. The late game economy is difficult. Um, but seeing it even out like this, like you saw here, we had the hack vans that worked out amazing. I was able to produce late game economy not only from my barracks, but also my war factory. We collected more minerals, minerals. <laughs> supplies, uh, even though the enemy had two extra supply stashes. 
So, I'm really happy how they turned out. Thank you, Christian Freedom YT, for the challenge. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.